Welcome back to my plant room. Wow! Today we have plant chores to take care of, including propagating, moving things around, watering, fertilizing, and pest prevention. Wow! Today's video is sponsored by Liquid Earth. I'm sure you guys have heard me harp about Liquid Earth before. This is my favorite fertilizer. It's the fertilizer that me and all of my other plant friends use, and it is so amazing. It's super duper easy to put together. All you do is take one cup of water and mix it, into your little package. This makes the concentrate. Then you put one cap full of concentrate into a gallon of water and that will make you your mix. Then from your mix, you can kind of do whatever you want. It does say two tablespoons of your mix into your watering can gives you how much you should be fertilizing with. So you can kind of do whatever you want. This is the mix I made last time. It's still good to go. Make sure you're using filtered water as well. If you want to try out Liquid Art, it is so great. Super duper easy to put together, unlike a lot of other fertilizers. I want to make sure I'm using a fertilizer that doesn't have toxins in it. Liquid Art doesn't have toxins, just 18 all natural organic ingredients. So if you want to try this out, you can use code plantme underscore 25 to get 25% off Liquid Art. Buying Liquid Art helps my channel so much as long as you're using my discount code. I'm just here to tell you that this is like the best fertilizer I've ever used and it's amazing. Plantme underscore 25. This is what we're going to be using today to fertilize our plants. Let me show you kind of what we have going on. I painted my nails in here the other day, so I need to pick up that stuff. But I want to move my big paludarium today. So that big monstera I had, not this one, but the other one, died of thrips. Well, it died of, it died of Ashley. I cut up the the plant, but it had thrips and that's why I cut it up. So we now have my big spot available, which I'm gonna move my paludarium there. And so I can have my desk back over in that little spot. And then I'm gonna maybe put some plants in my paludarium. Also, we're gonna check for thrips. We're gonna make sure that the thrips have in fact vacated the premises and we're gonna water these guys up there. So we're gonna do a lot of little things today. We also need to really water this terrarium. I noticed today that some of the begonias in there are a little droopy. Yep, let's do it. Let's water everything. I love cleaning my room. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but there's something about cleaning a plant room and just getting everything back in order that is so satisfying. So I guess I'll tell you guys how I have been doing lately. I have been doing very good. I have been working my little butt off by training. I told you guys I wasn't gonna be posting a lot this month, and that's because I really took this month. Honestly, and maybe it's over said and overblown, but like, it really is true. I've had a terrible time lately. <laughs> this month, I was just gonna like throw myself into the gym. Since doing that, I have done so much better. I have also been sleeping more, because I've been tired. Raven, you looking at me. So yeah, I've been working out, trying to get buff again. Just kidding, I don't really have any muscles yet. <laughs> but, but it is fun to work out and my trainer is super nice and understanding. Bought some new clothes because I was like, you know what? I deserve a little treat myself. So I bought some new clothes, which I really like. Yesterday, there was a freaking hobo spider in my room, which at first was so scary because it was like, is this thing gonna kill me? And you guys, I kid you not when I tell you it was this big. It was actually this big and it was walking on the carpet and I literally screamed so loud. And I just said bye to Chris who was downstairs. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and work now. And I come upstairs almost step on this freaking thing and I literally see it and scream. And I'm like, Chris, Chris, cause it's huge. And I didn't want it to get away and I didn't have anything to kill it with. I needed to keep my eyes on it. They move so fast, especially the big ones. Anyways, it got to the point where it was about to climb behind my greenhouse in like that little crack behind it. And Christopher was able to kill the spider, which was absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh. So I don't have a plant back there. So Raven likes to just go sit back there lately. She smells my plants, but that's about all she'll do. Yeah, that was weird, huh? So here's another prop container I think we might end up filling up today. How do people do it where they like spin the top off super fast? You guys always ask me how I keep Raven out of my plants. I just like don't, she just doesn't really bother them. You didn't pay me to say this, but I'm also gonna be using more of this You Bloom stuff. I really, really like this, and I love that it can come to you in a little package monthly. But you guys, I'm like so motivated today. Anyone else talk to their cat 
not like that or is it literally just me? So usually I only water my terrariums by that went on for so much longer than I wanted it to. Mister, uh, make sure, by the way, if you missed your plants, you're always using filter, purified, or distilled water, not tap water, uh, cause that will hurt them. But I can see that the actual moss is also starting to dry up. So we're gonna actually water the plants in the terrarium today, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So we're gonna be so careful. We're gonna be so careful. Also, my fry deck is looking nice, I think. I think we're capable, especially since I've gotten stronger lately. I really think I can do this on my own. Wow! You guys, I'm a freaking tank now. Hooray! Bro, don't mess with me, cause I'll mess you up. <gasps> New orchid tank? Maybe? So I have all of these lovely Hoyas right here, right? Like they're killing it. Putting this here so that I can have another spot for more plants because I've pretty much completely filled up my greenhouse and my other two terrariums. However, I want to get more plants because I have a problem. I also want to take propagations of plants. Yeah, it's not exactly something I want to throw away. Cute! Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm so proud I lifted that completely by myself. Hello, did someone say more water? <laughs> Even more water, maybe? This spot right here also gets a lot of light throughout the day. Should we put in it? I also think I'm gonna get box lights for it. I saw at the place in Arizona, Florida Corner, they put a box light on top of this like mesh up here, which I think would be really, really good for the plants in here at night so they can keep getting more light. So I'm keeping this one over here. I normally wouldn't put this behind something so big because the light's gonna get blocked but this has grow lights and it's doing really well on its own. Oh, here's something new. I've never watched Harry Potter before and I just finished uh, watching it through. There is that. Let's go ahead and put all the little babies in the terrarium. What a good little setup. Cute. I am so smart. So here's two little orchids. I'm gonna be moving into the other tank. Here's an Orangus punctata who wasn't originally doing very good, but we're getting some new growth. And then this is an Epidendrum falcatum. I think he's also really cool. <gasps> you guys, my freaking Hoya Sarawak is blooming. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's continue. I don't know where to continue. <laughs> we don't have anything else to put in here yet. So I guess we'll think about that in a little bit and let's water and fertilize my terrarium. This is my Botanicus terrarium. Right now they aren't selling them. I'm very sorry. I know a lot of you are interested in buying one, but cannot help you at the moment. So we're gonna take a little bit of our little liquid or mix carefully. And then what I'm gonna do is individually, I'm gonna take these guys out here and water them. I'm just gonna water them over the terrarium. Let it drain out into the moss. And um, with terrarium tropicals, you don't really have to water them as much because they are getting a lot of the water from the surrounding moss. This plant right here is actually doing really good. This is my begonia, not, um, what is it called? What the frick? I can't remember this one's name. It's one of my favorite begonias I own though. Sorry, he's, he do be dripping. Next, we got our little piper. She looks so beautiful. Got a little baby on the way. Here's our recovering Darth. I'm so proud of this guy because he was literally like dead and now he's got two leaves, which is so exciting. Here we have our Alocasia Silver Dragon, who is getting pretty big. I'll quickly show you. Got a lot going on there. Oh, oh, that's so cute. There's a roly poly. Here's my little Bromarks Fantasy that I cut back a month ago and here's its new shoot coming out. So now I'm gonna show you my blooming uh, species Sarawak. That is so exciting. And look at how like freaking, oh, the color of these two together. 
is so amazing. Like the greens and the blues. That's what it really looks like, you guys. It's an iridescent color. Amazing. So here's our two honking Jalau. Why are we tracking? Here are our two honking Jalau type two stems. I'm literally just gonna pot these guys right up in moss. Wow, that was so hard to cut through. Then we have this mighty Jalau, <laughs> which is like losing its lines for some reason. Maybe it does that when it gets mature. All right, come back to life, my lady. Here, look at this. She's like, water me. <laughs> Put a little bit more moss in it to make it more sturdy, but here's our little uh, Jalau propagation. And then we'll throw some liquid art in there for good measure as well. One of these guys is actually really, really tall. So I'm gonna give him another little chop right in there. Cool. Here's our little uh, Jalau cup. All right, and he is ready to go into my paludarium. How cute. So I put liquid at the bottom of this mason jar and I'm actually going to be putting this dude into there. Now here is our dude. I'm gonna go ahead and top him off with some normal water. And he's gonna soak up, soak up all that. Then I'm actually gonna put my species affinity Bertonii Hoya in here as well, mostly because it kind of just needs like a pep talk. All right, and I'll say, I think we're good for the paludarium. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna water these dudes because they are way thirsty. So here's our cute little plants. Here's my multiflora. She's actually gonna bloom soon. Uh, right there. We get our peace lily and our Hoya Mahaloa. The next little thing we're gonna do is water Fred. This is my Alocasia Michalitziana, otherwise known as Alocasia Fridec. He is absolutely popping off now that it is warm outside. It's like he sensed it was time to come out and freaking party, dude. Next we have this little terrarium who is super cute. She is absolutely thriving in there. First of all, we have my little allocate, no, what? My little uh, Serapegia Silver Glory, my silver string of hearts. Then we have this unknown begonia I was sent. Uh, if you think you might know what begonia this is, let me know in the comments. We have some bigger friends in here. So my little variegated uh, Peperomia is doing really good. I don't think I can take it out quite yet and show you, but it does have quite a few variegated leaves. Um, which is so exciting. So hard to see, but this one right here is variegated and then the one back there as well. I'm very proud of this one. <laughs> one of my little Pubicalyx splashes is doing well. This is his new growth point right there. And uh, some different Hoyas back here as well. And you know what? These little guys are small enough that I can actually water them with just the mister. So I'm gonna do that real fast. All right, he's nice and watered. All done, and then this guy sits right on my sun table. Now the last one to take care of is this little terrarium, and then we'll move on to the up high plants. This one is doing pretty darn good. Almost everything in here is growing uh, like significantly. A brand new leaf right here on my Hoya pot of gold. Then my Hoya midoriensis red, I believe. These leaves are finally hardened off. On this guy, we don't have anything new, but he's pretty dry. So I'm gonna give this guy a drink real fast. Next, we have my Hoya Bella Le Bois, which is doing so good since I cut it. We actually have three new growth points and she's growing out a lot more kind of like a fuller plant instead of one stem, which she was before. Then we have my Hoya Pan Choi and our little fungus gnat dude. And you can see it caught a lot more fungus gnats than I thought I had going on. And I actually see almost no fungus gnats in there. Also, someone said that you can only catch fungus gnats on yellow sticky traps. 
I want to show you that that is not true. <laughs> These guys all had um, pests before and it looks like they're all doing really well now. So um, this guy actually lost his old new leaf so he just grew in a new baby one right there. Then right here we have my Hoya species Imbricata. And uh, that's our new guy and he's actually about to start throwing hands. You can see uh, right there he's got those two little points. Those are two little hands. Then we have my Hoya Caudata which put out a new leaf which is right here. This is one that really bit the dust after the whole uh, Botanica's incident at the airport. So I'm so glad to see some new growth. Then we have one of the bigger beasts of the tank, which is my Hoya Velosa Cow Dong. This is an absolutely huge plant and it's got some pretty big new growth coming in right there. It's actually got a second new growth point. Uh, down low as well, which is exciting. Front, here's my Hoya Weimanii Borneo. And uh, we got a new little leaf starting to finally come in right there. Then we have my little Hoya Lachinosa snow cap, the one Brooke sent me. This one hasn't actually started growing yet. Then we have my Hoya Bella Variegata. This is the one that Botanicas gave me. I did chop it a little while back because it was so long and we are getting new growth right here. Then right here, we have another Hoya Weimanii Borneo uh, right here from a different seller. And then a Hoya Thompsonii. I'm gonna go ahead and just give everyone a really nice deep watering. Oh, I actually forgot to show you guys two Hoya. So this is my uh, special Hoya. This is one that Anya gave me because it wasn't doing well for her. And it actually gave me a new leaf. This is my Hoya AH074. And then the other one I forgot to show you is my Hoya, Her Hoya Carnosa. Holiniana species. This guy is extremely slow growing, but uh, doing pretty good otherwise. Neem is great because not only is it good, like just as an oil, but it's a pest preventative. I also really like the you bloomed thing because neem oil usually comes so that you have to like kind of chemically figure out how you're even supposed to mix it. Now, the last thing we have to do is take care of the up high plants and then we're donezo. Okay, so one of these plants I am just gonna be throwing away because I don't like it anymore. I have a better one downstairs as well. I'm so worried there's gonna be like thrips up here. So this is the one we're gonna be throwing away. It is an old spider plant. Okay, so that didn't take long at all because every single plant up there was infested with thrips. So I did throw them all away. None of them were rare, so I'm not worried. We have the queen in here, okay? The, the, the sport lady. And I can't have thrips happening there. We're gonna check her again for thrips. And if we see any, we are going to remove them with this, which is a Captain Jack's copycat. Having spinosad in it, it has potassium salts and fatty acids. So we're gonna get our paper towels and we're just gonna wipe him down for good measure. Oh, wow, you guys, we're really doing everything today. Usually I just pick one chore and then I do the rest off camera. Also, I'm gonna be extra careful about my grow tent. I'm almost positive that there's strips in there that I just can't see at the moment. I completely forgot, I have another, I didn't even take my peperomia down. All the other plants I threw away, I could literally buy at my grocery store. And we get those Hoya Curtisii big baskets like all the time here in Boise. So I'm not worried about not being able to find another one. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't see anything yet. I always wipe or try to always wipe the back of the leaves first. Just really don't want to lose this guy. We've been together for a long time. Over a year now, I've had this guy, which is very rare. It's, it's very rare for me to keep a plant for so long. I'm hoping that that peperomia up there does not have any thrips in it. Uh, I don't feel like I typically see thrips get drawn to peperomia. 
By the way, I do have a second channel. I am finally gonna be start posting on it. Um, I think I'm gonna do a video every Saturday. So it's youtube.com forward slash all about Ashley. There will already be a new video up about my scrunchie collection. I actually just got rid of half of the ones you saw in my collection because I decided I needed to downsize. So um, I'm going to finish taking care of this Monstera by spraying down its stems. Just spray down the stems. Really want to make sure there's nothing hiding in the petioles. Ladies and gentlemen, just say no to thrips. <laughs> All right, and that's actually gonna bring us to the end of today's video. I am almost completely out of filming space, so thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley as well, and become a channel member. We have 140 channel members, which is so incredible. There are so many of you. Welcome to the community. It's so good to have you. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I love making these vlog type videos. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to check out Liquider. Don't forget to use code plantme underscore 25. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section or in my plant room. Bye. And don't forget to check out my second channel, All About Ashley. See ya. Thank you so much for the extra channel support to the planted carly flower, all the green places, and botanicas.